Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Honeywell and we're playing Stardew Valley on our new Fourwell farm today. It is the 24th of spring and it is decision time again. Now, we have set ourselves up pretty nicely, I think, with uh, our spring. We have um, the, our stable being built, we have the mine carts unlocked, we have a pretty sizable field of quality sprinklers set up, and it is we still have five uh, days left of spring. So, yeah, we really need to decide what we're going to do with ourselves. It's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Fortune teller, spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed. Yeah, luck will not be on our side, but that's okay. Now, our skills and relationships are pretty respectable. Um, I mean, they're not outstanding, but we have four of our level five professions at least, which is very nice. Um, our relationships, we haven't focused on the social aspect of the game yet, but we haven't been completely ignoring it either. We have some hearts with people. Ah, uh, yeah, and like I said, we still have five days left. Now, if we were to sell all of our crops at the end of the season, uh, I think we'll probably com pretty comfortably close out the season with about uh, 60K right now. And if we spent the rest of the season uh, fishing, I think we could pretty comfortably close out the season with around 100k. Now, the absolute smartest thing to do with that money uh, would be to take that 100,000, unlock the bus, and start off summer uh, planting star fruit seeds. We could pretty we could take that 100k and turn it into 400k uh, pretty quickly and easily. And yeah, 400k. Oh, that's that's nothing to sneeze at. Uh, that is a good chunk of money. And then you could take that 400k and do whatever you wanted with it. So that is pretty tempting. But that's not what we're going to do. It just doesn't feel, I don't know, it just doesn't feel like a... Uh, like something that I'd want to do. I'd rather, you know, putter around, uh, work on more preserve jars, get some more tappers on the trees, um, fix our field. I'm not happy with the sprinkler layout here. So yeah, <laughs> you know, you know me, that's gonna have to change. Uh, so there's a lot of things like that, that would just feel, I don't know, even though it's not the best use of our time, it would feel better. So we're going with that. Now, we are very interested in being efficient. Uh, you guys know that, but that's not our only goal. Efficient is good. Um, but we want to have fun. So, yeah. So what we're going to be doing is uh, just puttering for the next few days. Now we're going to lose an entire day at the last day of the month because I'm going to redo those fields, uh, which is pretty unfortunate. When I laid them out in the planner, I was trying to leave room between the house and those sprinklers, and I did not realize how much I would hate the jagged edge of those sprinklers. <laughs> And while this isn't going to be the final layout for the farm, uh, because it's not very pretty, I can't, I just cannot, I'm not going to be able to uh, be happy with this jagged edge right here for a whole, for three more seasons while we, uh, we work on that. So, yeah. <laughs> so I will be crazy and uh, redoing that. Uh, what else are we going to do? Now, today is the flower dance. We do not have a date. We're not going to go. <laughs> We're going to stay on our farm today and uh, chop down some trees and uh, do that sort of thing. We have, you can see where uh, we crafted another preserve jar. What else we're going to do is uh, tomorrow, tomorrow we are going to build a chicken coop. Um, so we'll want to go ahead and uh, chop wood today for that. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We also want to uh, work on uh, getting more tappers, more preserve jars. Because I'm changing the sprinkler layouts, we're going to need more uh, sprinklers. So yeah, it'll, it'll be like a lot of uh, odds and ends today for the next few days. Now, I don't think, I think I'm going to 
um, since I have to edit these videos anyway, I think I'm going to combine a couple days into one. I'm not going to be able to play all of this uh, today, so we'll be recording this in different sessions. I I've been trying to keep these uh, videos coming out timely because you guys are liking them. Um, but, yeah, real life has been getting in the way. <laughs> it's been getting in the way of my Stardew Valley time. But that's okay. Let's clean this up and then get started. Like I said, we're going to stay on the farm today and just take care of uh, some odds and ends. I know that there's some stuff in here that can go. It's in the wrong bins and all of that good stuff. Oh, nope, don't eat that. Put this away. And what do we have over here? We don't need to sell this, this pickled cauliflower yet, so I'm not going to. I think this is good. Now, does that look right? I think it does. Okay, we are going to spend the day on the farm uh, cleaning up, chopping down some trees so we have uh, wood for the coop tomorrow. And yeah, nothing terribly exciting. So let's get to that. Okay, that feels pretty good. We have some, we have some wood. We have some uh, more seeds planted. And you guys told me that if we harvest our mushrooms after, after maybe eight o'clock, sometime in the evening, we'll get uh, mushrooms every day. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, see if we can't do that. I don't know that this is gonna work for us. Uh, but if we could get daily mushrooms, that would be really good. The reason why I don't know if it's going to work for us, because we tend to, um, you know, pass out. <laughs> uh, so I'm not sure that that is going to be uh, something that we're going to be able to uh, do. But we'll give it a shot. Uh, daily mushrooms would be really nice uh, this early on. We could usually, we could really use that. So yeah, I like that. 
let's use up the rest of our energy and then yeah new day if we have enough we'll go ahead and we'll uh, craft another preserve jar if we manage to collect enough coal I'm not sure that we have I really should have uh, we're running out of time here I'd like to get some more um, acorns planted so let's see if we can't do that really quick uh, sure one two one two looks good to me Uh, maybe right there? I don't know. We'll see. It's 1.30. We're running out of time. And we do have enough coal. In fact, we, you know, we'll do two preserve jars in the morning. That'll be good for us. And it's 1.30. We'll go to bed early. Good night, Holly. Uh, level 7 mining. Good. And we went ahead and sold a little bit of what we had because we need 4,000 gold for a coop today. So of course we want that. Now, in addition uh, to what you guys uh, said about the mushroom cave, you also mentioned uh, uh, some speedrunners that you guys watch. And I did not know that uh, it was really a thing. And for the first time I watched some of that and I watched uh, a ton of uh, the Hubu with his spirits are in good humor today that is good i think we're going to go to the mines um in order to build up our infrastructure we need more more minerals we need more coal we need more copper uh we still need we're going to need six more sprinklers with the new field layout that i want so yeah definitely going to be doing closing out the season in the mines we can build two more preserve jars so we are absolutely going to do that and look, Miss Daisy's home. I'm so excited. Let's go say hi. Hi, Miss Daisy. Oh no, you are not Grover. Miss Daisy, welcome home. Be so good. Mmm, so fast. Oh, this makes me happy. Yes, this is very good. So, yeah, let me get, uh, get ourselves uh, situated for the day and I will see you in a moment. Okay, I think I'm done fiddling around in these chests here. We're going to go ahead and get, we only have two pieces of coal, uh, but we'll get a couple things smelting. Um, like I said, we need six more sprinklers, so smelting gold is good. So we'll get those down. A couple more preserve jars. Our morning chores have uh, decreased drastically since we don't have any uh, farming to do or watering to do. And we'll, uh, you know, keep the recycling going. And let's get some more wood here. We can always um, chop down a couple trees on the way to Robins. Okay, looking good. Now we need copper for a lot. We'll need copper for kegs. We need copper for tappers. Uh, we are going to need a copper for trap bobbers. Now I said that we weren't, um, we're not gonna, uh, you know, sp uh, spend the rest of the summer fishing in order to unlock the mine carts, or not mine carts, unlock the bus to the desert but that does not mean uh, that we're not interested in unlocking opening up the bus as soon as possible we are definitely um, going to work towards that um, but I just think I just think it it feels nicer to uh, to get our crops in the ground to plant some you know fruit trees uh, preserve jars and that sort of thing, more tappers. It just feels, it just feels better to do that. So, so that's what we're gonna do. But I'm very interested in getting at least some star fruit in the ground 
uh, this summer. So, uh, the bus is a top priority for us. It's just, just not our only priority. So once we get everything set up for summer, um, we are absolutely going to be fishing. And in order to catch the most profitable summer uh, fishing, uh, from what I can tell, I don't know if this has changed or not, it doesn't seem to have, um, is the ocean. And there are, there's a pufferfish and super cucumber and an octopus, uh, which are very hard fish to, well not very hard. Um, but hard for me fish to catch uh, so I really need the trap bobbers to be uh, to make summer fishing uh, profitable for us so coop please yes so we'll need copper for trap bobbers okay and now I don't know if this is gonna stay like this um, but I'm interested in, in creating a, a farm loop. Can we, um, oh, she won't let us do anything else. I was going to take a look at the farm again, but that will have to wait. Uh, the reason why I'm putting that coop there is because I'm trying to create a loop of like uh, farming chores. And if we have the coop down there, it'll be next to the mushroom cave. And I'm thinking that we'll move our crab pots. Uh, to the pond above the mushroom cave and see how we make out. Now it is a good humor day and even though we want to farm for mats, we're also, we don't, we're only 10 levels away from, uh, let's try crit. We are only 10 levels away from our first star drop. So since it's a good luck day, I say we, uh, we go to the gold levels and see if we can't pull that off. Now I said that um, I watched some of uh, Habu's uh, videos on Twitch and uh, what he does is absolutely amazing and I love it. And uh, he mentioned one of the things that I was wrong about. Um, I said the other day that daily luck um, when luck is bad, uh, there tends to be more mobs in the mines, and, uh, luck does not affect that. But what I think it does affect is because you're, if your luck is bad, you're on the levels longer. Uh, so I think that's why it seems like there's more mobs. You know what, let's just... There we go. Uh, so yeah, so daily luck does not mean uh, you'll have more mobs, but I think if you're on the level long enough, you get swarms more, and if you get swarms, you know, that's more mobs. If, if you don't get a ladder as soon as you enter a level, you know, then you encounter more of the mobs. And this is good. We need some coal here. Oh my gosh. Just stand there and tank it, Honeywell. This kind of uh, blows my theory uh, to bits too anyway, right here, right? Because it's a good luck day. <laughs> oh, I wish I would have kept that bomb for this level. It is what it is. Let's organize our inventory here. Get uh, everything, everything neat and tidy so we can see what we're getting. Uh, stone is good. Uh, all of this stuff can go down here and we're interested in the gold. Yeah, that's nice. We need to pick up the pace if we want 10 levels though. I think I'm out of practice. Oh, there we go. Look at all this gold, it's good. Let's go around and get it all. Oh, and there's a, uh... yeah, I really did. Um, these bats aren't even bad because um, we need bat wings for more sprinklers, not sprinklers, for lightning rods. So I'm not even upset about this. And it helps that we have 
um, a better weapon now, so, you know. Although I'd be much happier killing the, oh my goodness. I was also watching, oh, is that a dwarf scroll? Did we need that one? I don't know, let's see. Artifacts. Good, we only need the first drawer scroll now. And since we're gonna need copper, we might get that because we'll be spending a lot of time on the first floor in the mine. So that's good. And we need some gold, so let's go out of our way and get this. Five more floors and we'll have our first star drop. Let's take a break and uh, head over to the Adventurer's Guild. You know what's going to happen now? We're going to pass out and I'm going to lose gold. <laughs> Isn't that what happened last time? We're all powered back up and ready for another five foot. Ooh. Now I don't know I don't know why this is, but if if like you're below the mobs, they seem to be much easier to kill. So uh, yeah. So if you see me uh, flailing about trying to reposition, that's why. And there's some coal on this floor, so we're going to go get that. Uh, we need it to smelt, but we also want to, um, you know, keep beefing up our preserve jars. The more preserve jars we get, the more money, uh, because we'll be able to process more of our crops. It's all good. Uh, we'll also need quartz for the more sprinklers that we need and for lightning rods. But hopefully we'll get um, a crystallarium soon, and then we can, and then we can throw a fire quartz on the crystallarium, uh, which will make our quartz gathering much easier. So we get like a little stockpile of it. One more. Do we want to go to the center? I don't think we do. I think we just want to finish this, and here we are. Uh, floor 100 and our star drop would be very nice. Yay! Uh, this will give us a little bit more energy, which will be nice. Good. And what is it? It's 9 o'clock. And I think... I think we farm... I think we need to farm for some coal. So let's spend a little bit of time down here to see if uh, we can't kill some, uh, you know, fuzzy coal. Or should we just go to the iron level, or the copper levels, and hope we'll get some? You know what, let's go to copper. The, the lower levels, we have a chance to kill bugs, so we might get another ancient seed. Um, it has the copper that we'll need, and yeah. Oh, we also need, that's right, we don't have any earth crystals, and we'll need earth crystals for mayo machines and that sort of thing, so this is actually good. Now, 
Now the doggies have a chance to drop a yam, which we need for our fall crop bundle, so that doesn't hurt. Uh, let's neaten up our inventory a little bit here. Now I'm collecting this fiber one because we might need it, um, but also, um, seeds. Now we're going to be planting a, a transitional crop um, so we don't have to water and hoe the ground on the first. Um, so if we, any mixed seeds that we plant, any mixed seeds that we gather would just be uh, less seeds that we have to buy. Uh, so that is good for us. And I think this will be the last one. We still didn't, what, we have to go check on our mushroom cave, right? Yeah, so we got a couple earth crystals. Yeah, it's fine. Let's go. And look, I was just talking about this. They have a yam, so we got one. That's good. Let's uh, sort out our inventory. And the only scroll that we're missing, we just need the regular one. Uh, and we'll be able to uh, unlock the dwarf over there, which is not bad. I wouldn't mind doing that. Okay, I think we're all sorted here, so let's get back to town. We have our mushroom cave that we need to check now. Uh, this is why I'm not sure that checking it every day is going to work for us, uh, but we'll try. Come on, Miss Daisy. If we pass out, I'm going to be pretty upset. <laughs> so yes, if you if you uh, harvest these at night, you can harvest them every day. That was a great tip. Thank you, guys. We're not going to make it. No, we did. <laughs> this is so Honeywell. Falling asleep in the doorway. That's great. And we have level seven farming, which is good. A level four combat, not bad. Yeah, and we sold 50 gold. And here we are, it's a new day, the 26th of spring. Uh, to recap what we've done, we didn't have a date for the flower dance on the 24th, so we stayed home. Uh, yesterday it was a good luck day, so we popped over to the mines and picked up our first star drop. Very happy about that. Uh, and we also commissioned Robin to start working on our chicken coop. We are we push, placed it down here because we're trying to create a farming loop. We don't know how this will look or what is gonna how the farm will eventually turn out. But for right now, I think that might be okay. Um, Miss Daisy is home. Very excited about that. Um, so what are we going to do today? Um, I'm not sure yet. I think that is going to depend on our luck. Um, but that is for another episode. Thank you so much for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll leave a like if you did. Your likes and comments are always appreciated and they matter. The content you like is scheduled more frequently. Also consider subscribing if you're new. I'd love that too. Uh, but that is all for now. I hope to see you all soon. Bye-bye.